Hello. Hello, Steve C ten thousand here doing a tutorial which is something has a done in a while. Um so yeah. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install Remote Joy Lite, which is a plugin for the PSP that will allow you to play your P PlayStation Portable through your monitor through a USB port. Now as per usual, I will have had provided um, a text guide as well in English text guide in the link. You will need to download the files with uh, that link in there. Um, you then need to extract them, you know, the usual drill. If you need a free extractor, download 7-zip and then extract it and then you'll get this folder within a folder and then you get this so it will have the program that we need to use um, the plugins obviously and um, of course the drivers so the first thing you need to do is actually install the plugin now you do this by plugging in your PSP which I am about to do right now um computer PSP now I am going to use a handy feature of Windows Bing. right um in your root which means where basically after you click on the PSP if you haven't made one already on custom firmware make a folder called SE plugins now in that folder this is where you're going to drag in remote joy light so drag it in I've already got it so copy and replace there we go um, so then the next thing in your vhs.txt you need to put in this line and I shall put it in the description MSO um, MSO colon slash SE plugin slash we won't join like dot POX and then one um, if you want to use it for games you also need to put it in the game folder um, one more thing I recommend you doing it is creating a pops.txt and putting it in there as well this will allow you to play play PS1 games through the monitor but you'll also need to put slash zero colon slash kd slash usd dot prx in as well for some reason without that it won't work for pops obviously something to do with the pops software so once you've done that that is it for the psp you can ditch it you can ditch the psp and knock it off right if you aren't unaware of this, plugins won't activate until you either turn the PSP off and turn it back on. But to do it quicker, press the select that will bring you into the. I can't actually show you this bit, but going to the VSH menu and hit Reset VHS, you can access that by pressing the select button in the PSP's main menu as you probably just heard my PSP just restarted now time for the next step this is obviously going to be different if you're on XP but I'm not I'm on Windows 7 so what you need to do is this time without putting the PSP into USB mode so if you got auto USB mode turn it off so you know when you plug it in and it automatically goes USB mode, you've got to have that on for this off for this to work. So 
plug it in and then your PSP will search for a driver now this is a bit that's going to sound a bit scary because the PSP is not going to find the driver because type B is obviously not normal so we're going to have to install the driver manually to do this you need to go to start menu and type in device manager when it loads my computer is having a laggy day oops obviously a it was more than one device manager you stupid thing right so going to device manager it should be on this menu now do you see under other devices as PSP type B you want to right click it and click update driver software um, then you're going to click on browse my computer for the driver software and what you're going to do you're going to go to the folder where was and the desktop was but anyway oh yeah so mine's in the desktop so it's going to be desktop remote joy light and then remote joy light again and then drivers so find the drivers folder click OK and then click next windows will come up that it cannot verify the publish the software don't worry it will not kill your computer I have been using it long enough so then windows will go and install the driver once it's finished you can close it and close this now if you click on remote joy light en.exe you should now get your PSP on the monitor Ta -da! it's actually pretty simple it's probably the most complicated plugin to put in but it's actually the most simple so if we go into a game course only one game can be loaded of course my PSP is being slow today there you go PSP on your monitor ain't that awesome right there you go there you go PSP on your monitor sweet a couple things a nice little tip to show you now right you will need to do this whenever you save or load in a game because a lot of games crash when you go to save or load I don't know it just does so when you go to save or you go to load in a game the best example is birth by sleep you cannot load or save without it press F3 which shuts it off do you save and then press F3 to get it back um, so yeah that is it um, to record to record you're going to need a program like Fraps or Cam Studio um, I say I'll put a link to Fraps in the description for ya. 
but that is it that is how to get remote joy light on your computer which is cool which is awesome which is like yeah epic win cool so as per usual a text tutorial will be in the description um i am not quite finished i'm gonna have to put one more thing in quickly before but apart from that ah i ain't gonna just say right if you want to recall sound you're gonna need a 3.5 milli millimeter jack to a 3.5 milliliter jack lead one end will go in your psp headphone port the other end will go in your microphone port on your computer without because sadly it can't transfer sound through the USB it can only transfer picture so you do need a 3.5 milliliter jack by 3.5 to a 3.5 millimeter jack lead to record sound of the PSP but yeah that is it so that is how to get remote joy light on your PSP and this is in fact Steve Jose 10,000 signing out for now catch you later